muddle all the seeds up too. That's a little odd. It looks you know what? Like someone, some, someone let a rat in there. It's it muddled, so you have the blueberry taste. You're so upset that it's not sweet, but there's sweet all right. From blueberries. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome to a very special uh, <laughs> video. Video. Not gonna be a series. series? <laughs> Welcome to a special video that may turn into a series of Emma and Eugene's Battle of the Wits to see who knows more about coffee and coffee facts and truth. Coffee facts. Our lovely assistant, Anne Marie, luckily went out, found some questions, and she's going to be moderating our trivia video today. And here are the rules. Rule number one, if you are asked a question and you do not know the answer, you have to take a drink of a special drink that we made. Made for each other. Made for each other. I made Emma, she made mine. And we all used our favorite Polish Stone Cerulean Gin. And hers looked like a mouse poop to my drink. Mine is <laughs> sweet and tasty. It's delicious. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I muddled the blueberries. She muddled the blueberries and all the seeds came out. It looks like something pooped in there. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we each have made each other drinks. 1.5 ounces of alcohol in each of those. So the loser takes a sip. Or not the loser. The person that doesn't know the answer takes a sip. And then the other person has an opportunity to answer that question as well. If they don't know it, they also have to take a sip. At the end of this, the loser of the trivia game has to take a shot of the Cerulean Gym and it is poured by the winner. So yep. the winner can be as mean as they want in this little cup here. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead. Okay, Emma, what was the name of the shepherd that discovered the coffee plant? Colby. That's correct. Yes! Um, so easy for you. Eugene, what, what country exports the most coffee? Oh yeah, Brazil. That is correct. Oh, I would have gotten that wrong. What would you have said? Ethiopia. Oh. That is the most in Africa. Uh, 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 uh yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, Emma, this one, I'll be nice. Uh, how long Jesus should an espresso shot hold for? 25 to 30 seconds. Such a cop out. They get harder and harder. Uh -huh. I promise. Sure. Uh, Eugene, what's the difference between a cortado and a flat white? Cortado and a flat white. A cortado is served in a Gibraltar class. Hello? <sighs> uh, what is the difference between a cortado and a flat white? The difference between a cortado and a flat white is that a cortado is served in a Gibraltar class. That's half right. Half right? It's also the way the milk is. The milk is ever so slightly different on a flat white because it's uh, thicker, it's more velvety, like aerated for a little bit. And flat whites are served with a ristretto shot. So ristretto shot. Okay, I'll take the I'll take the loss on that. That was an okay sip. That's fine. I'll, Not I'll allow it. I know, but you have a whole drink. Yeah. You know? All right. Anywho, okay. <laughs> Emma, Kofi Muhammad was born in what country? Why? Did you know this? You gave her so many of the easy ones. The what is? The Kofi Luwak is the world's most expensive coffee. Like $600. Why? 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 Is it because, isn't there like, no, I'm not going to say it because this is going to be at the beginning of the video and you're going to make me look like a fool. <laughs> Do you want to just take a sip? Yep. Alright. It's because a cat poops it out and there's not enough coffee to sell. Damn it! I <laughs> knew it was something to do with pooping! Gosh dang it! We're staying the, the Sumatra Wildcat. The Sumatra Wildcat. Dang it! That's I knew it! David Attenborough would say the Sumatra Wildcat. <laughs> I was gonna say, doesn't something poop on it? So it like oh, poops poop on it. That would have been wrong. That would have been wrong. I, yeah, oh, I know, but I knew it was something to do with poop on it. What am I? <laughs> okay. Um, where, Eugene, where does the name Cappuccino come from? Italy. But, like, more. <laughs> no, 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 the, you gotta ask the. What? You can't. You can, I make the rules. You here. Can't. I make the rules. Yeah, you 
asked where it came from and I told you where it's from. It's Italy, isn't it? No, I mean, technically... What is the yes. reason for the name Cappuccino? What is the reason for the name Cappuccino? Too late, you already asked the question. I already asked no, the question. No, 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 it comes from the fact that Cap oh, I should know this because I actually looked at this the other day, and I think I forgot. Um, it is because it is catching up with your friends in Italy. <laughs> I'm just yeah, that's probably your smart move. Um, I loved that answer. <laughs> Cappuccino up with your friends. Because it looks like a capuchin, a capuchin monkey's hair. The, it, you were so close if you just stopped talking about after you got something to do about it. Capuchin monkey. The capuchin monks. Monks. Clothing, the robes that they wore, similar. Uh, but you just gave the answer, so now she has the answer. So does that mean that she doesn't get this one? You can both take a drink. I wouldn't have known that. I took a drink already. Oh, okay. I remember it was the monks' robes. I just spelled it myself again. And that's why Capuchin monkeys have that name because they look like the monk. Uh, I don't know that. Okay, don't I just spelled all over myself. I'll be right back. I don't know why this. I'm having such a hard time with my. This has been done with adult supervision <laughs> and is here. I am an adult. Uh, okay, Emma, what is an e brick? E brick. Yes, I'm so sorry. I forgot to react. <laughs> yes. <laughs> e brick. I B R I K. E brick. The type of coffee. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> e brick. I B R C K. Uh, I B R I K. I B R I K. It is an Italian brick of espresso after it comes out of the border filter. Because it's so hard. That's what she said? Nope. <laughs> so we'll take that. Oh my god. Um, I like, I love the... Do enlighten us on what an uh, eye brick is. It's a long handle copper pot used just said oh, it with a Turkish accent. Obviously, we got the right. I should have known that. I don't know how to do a Turkish accent. Next time. I shall practice. Okay, uh. This is is this still one to one? Yeah. Um. I think it is. Yeah, no. you both have got two wrong. Or not. Sorry. We have <laughs> one right, two wrong. Come on. Um, so. Your question, please. Yes, yeah. How old is instant coffee? How old is instant As coffee? As in, let me clarify. I was about to say. As in? How long has the practice of making instant coffee been around? Gosh, that's a really tough one. I'm assuming it has been at least a few thousand years since coffee was first found by Kaldi because the Turks used it for Turkish coffee. No? <laughs> Instant coffee. That's all I'm asking. Instant, instant coffee. coffee. Like yeah, the actual. Okay, no. You have to clarify what instant coffee is. Like no, because it's like the, the coffee, coffee that you stir and it just makes coffee. Yeah. Like it, you don't I mean, have to that, worry that's about what the coffee really is. Like they stir it and it makes coffee. Yeah, yeah but you okay. still have the grounds. Okay, all right. So you're talking about the Starbucks pack of instant coffee that you can get off the shelf, throw it into some water, yeah, and then you have coffee. Yeah, and there's no yeah. grounds. Okay. Fourteen years. Two hundred and fifty. <laughs> well, I was like, Why did you give the answer again? <laughs> Alright, we'll see. 250! 250! Sip it again. Almost as long as, or actually, it's been around longer than the continental United States. There you go. I'll really try to remember. The Vold Colonies. <laughs> yeah, I'm so stupid. <laughs> the Vold the Rat Colonies. Seceded from. <laughs> <laughs> the Motherland. The Motherland. The Motherland. <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is like the oh land. Good God. Thanks. Sorry, Mom. Um, okay, Emma. <clears throat> what country drinks the most coffee? Ooh. Drinks. Per 
capita or? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta clarify these things, man. <laughs> He's just shitting all over his. Yeah, that's true. Our moderator shit. is shit. <laughs> so rude. That's, uh, that changes the question entirely, though. No, because that's what I was assuming. Are you talking about full volume drank by the entire country itself? Or are you talking about how much does one person drink in a day in that country? I'm talking about what coffee drinks in those countries. Which coffee drinks? Yeah. Not coffee, coffee drinks in those countries. The most coffee. So volume. Of all. The, mo the, co the country that drinks the most I would coffee. Say I'm sure they meant volume. That's me per pound. That way? That way? That way? Pause! <laughs> oh, it's per person, like. Okay, per capita. Per capita, yeah. See? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about, Liz? What country? Mm -hmm. Italy. Ah, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, all right. Which country drinks the most coffee per capita? Because you thought Italy too. I didn't think Italy. I thought that would be too easy. Oh, he needs more of a challenge. Brazil? Wrong. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Wrong. Wrong. You're wrong. Who is it? It's Finland. Actually, I feel like I've seen, that fact. I've seen that fact. I love the finish. Yeah. <laughs> what a finish. Oh. Ah. Does it taste like rock food? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, okay. This question is almost too easy, I feel like, for you now. What the hell? Because this is my question. This is your question, yeah. yeah. I was like, um, I'm going to have all the easy ones. <laughs> which, <laughs> which two states produce coffee in America? Which two states? Hawaii is one of them. Or the second one. Is it a state or a territory? Cavemen? Oh, <laughs> it's not the oldest. 
Most wanted. Beer. Wait. No, because beer is the reason why there was no industrial revolution and then coffee was made and coffee created the potential for the industrial revolution. So he's got to see his hands up. I don't know how mean I should be, really. Honestly. What do you think? I think I can't see it yet, so. Ooh. How about not kiss it? I see the shadow of it. Oh, no. I feel like that's good. That's Great. good. We'll that's good. Sure. Oh, sure. Holy <laughs> shit! I mean, it's like it was made. <laughs> it was the perfect amount. Hold on. I'm back. At least I made yours uh, chaser-ish. You can chase with that. I good luck. Good luck. Good coffee. Okay. Well, cheers to being a loser. And you know what? Cheers to Holy Snow. Second place is the first last place. I believe in you. I believe in you. You made me drink that shit, so. <laughs> Wait, let's go. Oh, dear. Wow. What a champion. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, tune in next time. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to let us know if you have questions that you would like to send to Anne Marie. Send all of your questions to Anne Marie at thebeanyard.com, and then we can do this again. Bye well, bye. Also, don't recommend taking a shot. Today's episode brought to you by Devo Chico. If you want mineral water with sparkles, try Topo. Uh, with sparkles.